Here is a short demonstration of the CT007F, also known as our Small Hand Transportable Field Radiation Detector, or SHTF Radiation Detector for short. A long press turns the unit on and it goes to the CPM display. Short pressing uh, will toggle the display. So here we show the dose rate in microsieverts an hour. We can switch the display to millirem through our Android companion app. Let's go back to our CPM display. The instrument has a sliding cover to protect the window. When that cover is closed, the instrument only sees gamma radiation. When it's open, we see alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. So here we have some oriated TIG electrodes. With the cover closed, we get around five or six hundred CPM or five or so microsieverts an hour. With the cover open, we get around 1400, 1300, 1400 uh, CPM. That's because the thorium in the TIG rods gives off alpha, beta, and gamma. For another demonstration, we'll use the, smoke, the source from a smoke detector. With the window closed, we get uh, pretty much nothing, but with the window open, we get uh, 100,000 CPM right away. That's because this is an alpha source. And the way that we can tell that it's an alpha source is that it just takes a sheet of paper to completely stop the alphas. As long as the source is outside of your body, it's harmless because the alpha particles can't penetrate your skin but you definitely don't want to ingest or inhale alpha emitters because once inside your body, they can really damage your cells. Probably the easiest radioactive material to get is no salt salt substitute. You can get it any, at any grocery store. That's what's in this bag. With our window closed, we may or may not see a little bit of radiation above background. There it goes, a little bit above background. But with the window open, where we can let betas in, uh, we can easily detect beta radiation above background. Let's give it, this is on a 30 second averaging. The display is averaging uh, the count rates for every 30 seconds. So we'll wait a few, few, few seconds for this to reach its maximum. So yeah, uh, the no salt gives us about 100 CPM or about 10 times background 
with the beta window open. To be honest, you can do all these same things with a pancake type radiation detector, which we also make. But uh, these things are getting up there in price. They're quite a bit heavier and bulkier. Um, but the main problem is, is that this window is extremely fragile. And if you just look at them a little funny, this is what happens to the window. And once they pop, they're no good. Um, <clears throat> these tubes can even pop uh, from the pressure differential uh, that you might see in a cargo airplane. The CT007F is much more robust. Uh, our actual detector is a solid piece of plastic scintillator, so there is no, no tube to pop. Let's have a quick look at our companion app. Um, Open Gamma Guard, select external detector, and tap the in instrument that we want that we wanted to connect to. That turns off the screen on the local display to save power. And the app lets you switch between measuring contamination and measuring dose rate. So we're in uh, dose rate gamma mode right now. And we switch back to contamination. That changes the units from CPMs to microsieverts an hour. Um, let's say you are not a radiation expert and you don't really know what the numbers mean. We'll switch that. We have an interpret mode for that. Oh, it's back on the take rods. And what this is telling me is that at this particular dose rate, we can be here for about 80 hours before exceeding our routine dose limit. And we can be here a lot longer at that dose rate if this was a was an emergency. And in contamination mode, it uh, in, com in contamination mode, it tells us that this would be enough loose contamination that we should worry about spreading this around. It says it's ex exceeding our level of 100 CPM. Uh, in the settings menu, we can change the units and we can also change the levels uh, that we compare to. Thank you for watching.